So, uh, is that, uh, is that you, fake Machiru, or real Machiru? I still don't. Un I mean, I'm getting it. Like, my head is just trying to wrap around everything. <laughs> just, uh, oh, it's you again. You seem to be appearing a lot <laughs> recently. <laughs> あの子が怯えて外に出ようとしないんだもの。ずっと部屋に閉じこもっているようなものよ。実際、部屋に閉じこもっていることも多いけど。With me? <laughs> Why would she do that? Yeah, she's really, uh... She's really a... You know, a fear of that of losing abandonment sort of stuff, which is probably why. Uh, I I I don't know, man. I'm I'm feeling it in my bones that that it's just gonna the something's gonna happen to the cat, and it'll be like, oh, it's cemented in the fact that because I named the cat something that I lost it, so I was right all along, and then it'll fuck her up even more, guaranteed. Guarantee it, feeling my nuggets. My nuggets never lie. <laughs> or it's just a dumb theory, as per usual. So, is there anything I can do about this? At all? Maybe? To doing a little right analysis. After briefly thinking it over, she answers in a carefully, careful, deliberate tone. <laughs> She's go to the hospital? I mean, I suppose so. Help her out, like, mentally? Uh, sounds like a pragmatic approach. Or if I have no proof that I'm gonna be around forever? Oh, I see. Oof. Uh, and these days we have plenty of respectable, competent psychiatrists. I see. You know, I think we need to. I think we do need to go to the doctor to explain. This. <laughs> you know what I mean? Either way, Michiro's not gonna like that idea. I don't know. We'll think of something. Oh, yeah. Hello! Oh, well, okay, bye. <laughs> Lured by the sound of our voices, the black cat pops out of nowhere, but after taking one look at Michiru, it pauses in confusion, then quickly retreats. <laughs> It was just like, <laughs> lol, nope, gotta go. Her face suddenly grave, the girl stares at me steadily in the eye. I mean, I really have no idea how I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I guess that might be warranted at this point. With those words, I turn to leave. The girl's arguments seem reasonable enough, but it's unsettling to take advice from someone I know so little about. Who or what is she anyway? Well, has she really led you wrong, really? Come on. I can speculate, but the answer is beyond my grasp. The more I try to fit the pieces together, the more of a scrambled, confusing mess the board becomes. God damn it, dude. <laughs> eh, we'll figure it out. I feel the drama. The drama's coming. Oh, Jesus. Later that same afternoon, there's a knock at my door. I mean, I guess this is this could be considered the drama, right? It's fine. Come in. I wait a few seconds, but the visitor makes no move to enter. I stand and proceed to open the door myself. Unsurprisingly, Machiru is standing on the other side with a dismal look on her face. 
Get your booty in here. What's wrong? You stopped by for a reason, I assume. How about coming inside? Mm. The girl was barging in without warning only a few days ago, but things have changed. It's as though Machiru walked here through a rain shower. Her shoulders are slumped, and you can practically see the melancholy dripping from her bangs. Um, um, <laughs> you just eating? <laughs> Retrieving her ramen candies from the shark pouch of hers, she tosses one after the other in her mouth. Perhaps the girl's trying to energize her brain with a rush of glucose, but this still seems somewhat excessive. <laughs> You're going to give yourself diabetes. Then people aren't immune, you know. I mean, no one's immune. <laughs> Machira looks up at me with bloodshot eyes, seemingly waiting for me to say something. Unfortunately, I have no idea what she's expecting because we're you Kazami Yuji Occupation Student Mark II and we don't know shit about shit. Oh, no. What? If you got something to say, then spit it out already. Ma, ma to I mean, I mean, we could, but Machiro asked the question with a, the tentative wariness of a small animal peeking out from behind the tree. I think she may have deliberately framed the question in a way that allows her to pass it off as a joke, depending on my reaction. Didn't we talk about this before? That was just a game to kill time, right? Yeah, just, just keep dis- <laughs> Yuji, you are disappointing her. <laughs> hmm. Think about it, though. If the others notice, they're going to take it the wrong way. Both of you fucking make my brain hurt. <laughs> I mean, my brain's always hurting, but... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are you saying, woman? Did I close the door? I hope I close the door. Sucks for you that I already know that you're trying to you could pass it off as a joke, which is in fact what you did. Hard to take it as a joke when you say it with a desperate look on your face. She just digs in, gets more candies. <laughs> is he following close by? Oh. There he is. <laughs> you know, you keep saying things like that, and it's... It's gonna be all the more crushing if my theory actually ends up happening. <laughs> oh, God. It's gonna even make me sad if that happens. Oh, I mean, it w here's the thing. It would make sense in the story, right? They foreshadow a little bit. I mean, they foreshadow a lot in this game, so... It, she, the fact that she was like, Oh, he's not gonna just disappear if I give him a name, right? No. Yes, he's... You just signed his fucking death warrant or something right there. Oh, God, no. Make sure those are good biscuits. I don't want him dying off biscuits. Okay, st still good. Dude, I'm paranoid now. <laughs> it went from a simple theory to just, oh my god, that might happen, and now it's just, it's stuck in my mind. <laughs> the black cat instantly bites into the doughy cake Machiro offers, not even bothering to smell at first. Foolish little beast. Nothing good can <laughs> come from allowing yourself to be so thoroughly domesticated. Hmm. Well, that works, I guess. They say animal therapy can be surprisingly effective. That's true. To find normal, Machiru turns her back to me and makes to leave the room. But she hesitates in front of the door to mumble one final comment. Oh ho ho, hey, uh, well, the only one I haven't gotten too friendly with is Sachi, but the other <laughs> uh, I wait for the follow-up, anticipating something along the lines of 
gotcha. Or perhaps you took me seriously again? What a ba- what a baka! God, I wanna die. But instead, Michu simply opens the door and trudges out. Huh. Things seem to be heading in a problematic direction. As if to illustrate, the gathering rain clouds outside cast my room into grayish gloom. I'm neither a prophet nor a playboy, but I have a strong suspicion that the balance of this claustrophobic shoebox garden is rapidly breaking down. Oh no, don't say that. Don't. The foreshadowing and everything, something bad's gonna happen. And the set, okay, the music's good. Whew. To fully decipher a story, you need to proceed through it in, in, in the proper order, which is why we're doing all the games in their order. Not necessarily the uh, side, the, the off series games right off the bat. But of course we're doing ads. <laughs> I mean, we are doing the spin-offs. We have to, we have to. <laughs> Skipping ahead and learning how things end doesn't mean you understand the substance of the matter. Yeah, if I just, if I just uh, went ahead and <laughs> saw that, dude, I have the craziest crackpot theory of Ka Ka Kazuki being alive and that is never gonna leave my mind. And if I just skip to the fucking end and she's actually alive, and I'm like, how? How? <laughs> like, I need to figure out why, if she is, which I'm still thinking she totally is. <laughs> uh, oh, God. <laughs> we have no choice but to patiently absorb the author's words and wait for things to come together. But it can be difficult at times, even for me. I've been known to flip forward a few pages and take a peek. I can't do that. I can't even, I can't read. I, I don't like reading guides. I don't like re fast forwarding. I don't, I don't like doing any of that shit. <laughs> Once you've read one line out of order, learned one thing you shouldn't have, it's, it's not possible to wipe your memory clean and return to your previous spot because it's always there, there, but there in the back of your goddamn mind. No matter what sort of sense it may be, you have no choice but to accept it. That's the price we pay for curiosity. Hello?。そうしたら友人ってば、私に向かってこんなこと言うのよ。ボール。うん。それじゃコロッケがどうのしたの?って。That does sound like something I'd say. The yes. それはお兄ちゃんらしいのよさ。Ah, no wonder. I No wonder Magnus was giving me shit. Instead of saying Oni-chan, I need to say Oni-chan. Ah! For, you know, not for not in this case. Listen. なるほどね。またその続き聞かせてね。もちろんよ。さ、今日解散解散。チルチルは変になったり元気になったり。<laughs> <laughs> <laughs> she's she does flip flop. <laughs> what rhythm? You're just random. <laughs> do I do I get a snack? Don't even know what that is, but I want one. Hi, hi. What is Chalky? Or is it Machina speak again? God damn it. <laughs> nice impersonation. <laughs> Seems I've become something of a celebrity. Oh, but she just retreats into the recesses of her mind. You don't say. She that angry with me? So you've been deliberately filling in when she feels like disappearing then? <laughs> I'm getting tired of this. What's wrong, Machiro? Fake Machiro? Whatever, Machiro. Oh, don't tell me you're having problems, too. Oh, God. Machiro practically collapses into my arms, limp as a ragdoll, fainting in the middle of a conversation? This is a first. What the hell's going on with this girl anyway? Holy shit, can we, like...
can we not? <laughs> I carry Machiru to her room and lay her down on the bed. Although I expected her to be out for a while, only a few moments pass before she groggily sits up. It'll take a few moments for her to fully regain consciousness, but at least she appears to be all right. And fortunately, the girl who woke up appears to be the Machiru I know best. Okay, good. You all right? Look a little. Look at look at the light. <laughs> look at the light. Don't go into the darkness. <laughs> I check out the reaction of her pupils with my pen light, but can't find anything out of the ordinary. Of course. Why do I have a pen light? Of course, at this point, I'm less worried about the girl's physical condition and more of her psychological state. Dude, she is not in a good way. I'm going to be blunt, Machiru. You should go to a hospital. You can't maintain a normal life under these circumstances. Mm. She knows. You know that yourself, don't you? That girl said the same thing. It's probably an appropriate step at this point. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, it's like why'd I bring up the... Oh. Oh god, I curse silently, but it's too late. Since I wasn't in a position to predict the consequences and the music just cuts out, I've been careful to avoid directly mentioning the other girl to Machiru. But I was distracted by the problem in front of my eyes and my tongue slipped. I can lie. <laughs> now that we've reached this point, coming up with some half-assed lie would probably be counterproductive. Instead of trying to bluff, I answer honestly. She's... Ooh. Well... I guess she's the other you. Machiru slowly raises a hand in front of her face, then sits there staring blankly at, into the palm like a wind-up toy that's run out of spring. <sighs> At least we said it, you know. Uh. That's right. There's definitely someone else entirely inside of you. Oh god. The rain, you can like just suddenly hear the rain now. Yeah, we've had several conversations, unless the rain was just there and I didn't realize it. I feel like that's almost the same thing, but many, I guess. To be accurate, I've been talking with her pretty frequently these past few days. I'd really appreciate a straight answer, Machiru. Who is she? Please. What? I don't know. I think we're getting into the meat, boys and girls. I have the distinct sense that Machiru is hiding something, but there's clearly no point pre pursuing the topic further now. I offered a, a quiet nod instead. That girl seems to know you very well, down to the very last detail. You'd almost think she was standing over your bed and watching you sleep. But in comparison, you don't know a thing about her? Mm. <laughs> Hmm. Guess there's nothing we can do about that then. In any case, she said it would be wise for you to get to a hospital and. Uh, yes. Machiru interrupts me in mid sentence. Answer with a curt yes. Very different. <laughs> what kind? Sorry, what are you asking? もう一人の私ってどんな喋り方でどんな風に物を考えてどんなことをするの友人の口からそれを聞きたい 
a problematically broad question, but I decided to offer my honest impressions as they came to me. The other you is sociable and proactive, even aggressive. The girl makes sure her opinions are known. That said, she refuses to talk about herself, so I can't say much more. What I do know is that she seems to be a frank, no-nonsense person. <laughs> Machiru pesters me for more with the expectant eyes of a child demanding another chapter from a picture book. The girl sometimes takes eccentric actions, but she makes sure to handle the consequences herself. Seems to prefer clear-cut lines of responsibility. She's unpolished in some respects, but on a whole, I think it's fair to say she handles herself well. In particular, she commits herself respectably with our classmates while you're out. To the degree that nobody realizes it's not the rear, real Machiru, at least. So, uh... Not sure what standard you want me to judge her against, but I don't think she's a heartless psychopath or sociopath. Nah, well, that said, I know very little about what she's really thinking. There it is. That's gonna be the drama. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. We shouldn't even be thinking about things like that. If this is some sort of illness, we need a qualified doctor to call the shots. Although I keep it to myself, a certain proverb does occur to me. Two kings can't live in one country, yup. <laughs> But for some reason, there's an oddly relieved smile on Machiru's face. It's the expression of someone who had a wad of gum cleanly peel off the bottom of their shoe by sheer chance. Dude, that's the best. <laughs> If you're asking whether I feel animosity towards her, then... God damn it. Yeah, it's gonna take everything for me. Difficult to answer. I haven't even been looking at her in that way. I mean, I did kiss her. <laughs> I wouldn't shove her away. But that's all I about all I can say. I recall my first def definite encounter with the girl in question. When she did, in fact, abruptly kiss me, she justified it as the curiosity of someone without romantic experience. But in retrospect, that seems a strange excuse. All oh, right, she did. She was the one that yeah. <laughs> Don't even, Machiru. I swear to God, I'm gonna be salty. Hold on, Machiru. Is there some point to these questions? Feel like this is a good old time for a good old lie. <laughs> the girl's normally about as sharp as a pile of bricks, <laughs> but she hones right on in the problematic points. What a pain. That's right. Fucking goddammit. I, I suppose we might have kissed. Wasn't on my initiative, though. The girl suddenly pushed her lips against me. So, I first Chiru slowly traces her mouth with a fingertip as she speaks. Probably doesn't even realize she's doing it. As her finger passes back and forth along her lips, she, pr her previously clear face begins to cloud over. A deep wrinkle forms in the middle of her forehead, resembling the footprint of a bird in fresh snow. 
前に私が落ち込んでた時慰めに来てくれたよねでもその時にお前に言われてきたって言ってたそれもそういうことつまりもう一人の私に言われたってこと That's right. It was. So, no, no, no. So, it was a casino. 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 ごっこしてくれたのはあれは I agreed because the idea of playing house with you didn't strike me as objectable そっか Object Objectable Objectionable God damn it But to be fair the girl had asked me to date you beforehand That you know そっか<laughs> Oh Yup I don't want you to misunderstand what I just said, so I'll clarify. I didn't play house with you because the girl told me to. It was entirely my decision. Other matures just inside, like, God damn it, why is this happening? <laughs> She claimed to be asking because you've fallen in love with me. It's just what you, she said to me. Your feelings are something only you understand for sure. So, but. Ooh, are we finally doing this? Are we finally getting past the fucking pretend date bullshit? I try to answer, I see, but the words don't manage to escape my suddenly hoarse throat. Uh. うまくユージと会話ができて自分からキスもできちゃう女の子なんでしょそんな子に私かなわないよ The mood is coming down real fast Machiru seems ready to cry at any moment Also the rain got louder I head to the sink, fill a glass with water, and quietly hand it to her. She accepted it with a muted thank you, but doesn't drink. Man, I don't know if I can handle psychological uh, <laughs> questions and. I don't know if I can handle this. Can we just go back to eating people? At least I can handle eating people. <laughs> Even though it was pretty fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, dude. At the end of this long cascade of words, Machiru heaves a brief, heavy sigh as if reaching a command to breathe in some invisible musical score. That's it. ユージとデートできてすごく嬉しかったんだキスも初めてのキスだと思ってたんだでも全部違ったんだね私バカみたいじゃない Not from where I'm standing. Don't worry about it. 気にするよ
すっごい気にするどうしていいかわかんないもん、oh, Hello? <laughs> I'd be worried if I, if I knew someone else was in my body and I would just be taken over randomly not really randomly but I'd be freaking out The black cat wanders in through the door and twines around Machiru's lower legs but her expression remains stiff ヤーメルと初めて会ったのもあの大好きだって思った場所も全部自分で見つけたわけじゃなくて彼女に導かれたってことだよね The cat's like uh I may have stumbled in at the wrong time 私何もできてないね泣いたな<笑>ごめんねヤーメル今は無理だよごめん本当に Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Kitty will help. See? No, Kitty. Keep, keep, keep at it. See? Oh, the cat rubs up against Machiru's feet persistently before finally realizing she won't be dispensing any attention it's looking for. It leaves the room in evident disappointment. It's almost like watching a shadow with its own will break free of Machiru's body and escape. After silently patting Machiru's head a few times, I obediently leave her room. Oh, God. It's raining outside. Not entirely sure when it started, but our surroundings are already thoroughly damp, chill, and gray. The black cat dashes off somewhere through the cold rain, casting a long, narrow shadow behind it. Sh sh shadow. Holy shit. I try to call its name, but it's as though my throat has grown rusted. My voice is wiped out by the sound of the falling drain drops. Well, hope the cat will be okay. Ah, eh, he'll be fine. He's a survivor. He goes outside all the time. I'd expected the rain to linger, but it vanishes with surprising swiftness. Before I know it, the sound of raindrops against the window disappears, and the cicadas emerge from their hiding places to join in a vig vigorous chorus of chirps. The sunlight streaming in from the window is so bright, it almost feels like the dismal little scene in Machiru's room was all an illusion. As the air grows thick with humidity, I rest my hands on the damp desk and settle my breathing. Oh. Hello? Uh-oh. The world, previously dark as night, has at least regained its luster. I can only hope the change in weather re rallies Machiro's spirits a little. All right, then. With those words, I push myself off the desk. At times, it can be easiest to postpone the planning phase until after you've started moving. My head feels strangely heavy on my shoulders. My thoughts are sluggish and vague. Unless I verbally spur myself on, I don't think I'll manage to take on even the first step forward. All right then, what's next? I speak again, trying to get into gear, but my wheels can't find any traction. Well, sometimes it doesn't come easy. Well, sometimes it doesn't come easy. I continue speaking my thoughts aloud, but my strangely flat words evaporate into the muggy air. Seems like this technique just isn't going to work today. Oh. But unfortunately, but, eh? but fortunately, the deadlock's broken from the other side. I stand and quietly open the door. Hello? Oh, Simichiro stands outside my room with a face full of regret and anxiety. Eyes darting back and forth, she plays with the hem of her skirt. The girl clearly hasn't calmed down yet. Judging from those terribly bloodshot eyes, she probably was crying in her room until not too so long ago. But she was just full of apologies lately. At this point, it's no longer clear what she's even sorry for. They're meaningless words. Fill her when, for when she doesn't even know what else to say. You don't need to apologize. Want to come in? <laughs> I see. I'm not irresponsible enough to tell you it's not a problem, let alone don't worry about it, but right now you're too upset to think. Maybe you should pet that cat for a while until you feel a little better. Mm. 
ニョメル、ユージのとこに来てるかな。Here, here, here fucking comes, dude. No, he's not in here. I saw him heading out of the school a little while ago. そっか。じゃあ、そこかな。私、ニョメルを探しに行ってくるね。Here fucking comes. Here comes. You can't fool me, game. God damn it. Machir sets off down the hallway. Presumably intending to head for the usual high ridge, but after only a few steps, she loses her balance and has to steady herself against the wall. Maybe you should get a little rest first? <laughs> Machira holds out her hand to show me a plastic bag full of biscuits in the shape of various animals. <laughs> いい子にしてた時にだけあげてるのちゃんと猫用に作られてるやつなんだよでも一度にたくさんあげたらお腹壊しちゃうからちょっとずつね The girl forces a strained quavery smile onto her face In combination with her swollen red eyes the effect is downright pitiful I see by which you presumably mean I just bought too many you can have one but that's it <laughs> Oh my god. Just stop it. Either way, I'll come too. I can't leave you alone in this condition. Sure, sure. If that's what you really want, it's a date. Hmm, I think the term search and rescue operation is more appropriate. <laughs> Hell, you can call it whatever you want. I decided to come along entirely on my own. Nobody else played any role. Is that not enough for you? Dude, here it comes. Here it fucking... <clears throat> Machira reaches down and grasps my hand. Since there's no particular reason to shake it off, I squeeze back with a moderate amount of force. But what do you plan to do if someone sees us like this? Won't your Sundari reputation be ruined? <laughs> oh yeah, just throw it all on me, huh? Now you're going to make me into a stalker? You really are nothing but trouble, princess. <laughs> 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 Where is this goddamn cat? Looking around the area restlessly, Machiru calls out the cat's name again and again. Probably wasted effort. I think I'd be able to sense his presence if he was <laughs> hiding around here. I'm a fucking Jedi. <laughs> I saw him running towards the road, so he probably left the premises for a while. Maybe he's still outside the campus? I don't like the- I don't like cat. I don't like cats and roads being in like the same sentence. Subject matter. Oh, he'll forgive you. Won't forgive you. Give him a little cat food and he'll forget about whatever happened. It's just a cat, you know. That's what I am. I'm mean as fuck. <laughs> Where the hell did this cat go? You have a place in mind, right? No need to be so uneasy. Oh no. Okay. After a slow walk along the seaside road, we finally approach the usual spot. Machiru's not in great shape. She had to squat down and catch her breath several times, but she's refused to take a longer break. Large puddles of water sit on the surface of the road, beautifully reflecting on the blue sky above. Apparently trying not to disturb their brilliance, Michiru carefully steps around them as she walks. Even as I'm watching the girl hop around like an unusually de dejected rabbit, my mind is somewhere else entirely. A certain unpleasant premonition has begun to take root inside me. There it is! It's coming! <sighs> At times like these, my animal instincts is vexingly accurate. Oh. 
Nyamaru! Nyamaru! It's coming, boys and girls. Machiro frantically searches places where the cat might be hiding, but there's no familiar meow to greet her. The still damp grass leaves are clothes slightly wet. Machiro, don't get too flustered if he isn't here. Probably just hang around somewhere else for the moment. There's no cause for alarm. <laughs> Only your room in here? That's more unusual than him going missing. We're dealing with a stray cat. Surely it has other haunts. <laughs> <laughs> we did name him. Hmm. Look for him where? Uh, again with the crazy talk. Oh, oh, cat! Oh, hello? A light brown cat spotted with white emerges from a nearby clump of bushes. Oh, Machiro heaves a heavy sigh, then crouches down and talks to it. Come on, brown cat. Help us out here. We need a, we're looking for a friend. I understand, cat. <laughs> the stray cat seems to be primarily interested in the biscuits Machiro's holding. Probably emerge after hearing the plastic bag rustling. Oh, he's over here. I'm taking care of him. <laughs> it's just... He might have just wandered back into the dorm by, of his, on his own by now. Let's get going. You know that feeling? That sinking feeling? That's what I'm feeling right now? And I don't like it. <laughs> Machiru trudges along, clearly discouraged. The sun's just now straight overhead, ruthlessly bathing us in midsummer heat. What's the point of speculating? It's completely natural for cats to wander off. He'll just be back when he's hungry. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like cats and roads together. Uh, don't get caught up in what ifs. In the first place. Oh, what the fuck? All of a sudden, Machiru drops her plastic bag of biscuits onto the road. I pick it up and hold it out to her, but the girl shows no sign of reaching out to take it. What? What's wrong? Tired from the walk? I don't mind carrying you on my way back if you want. Ah, oh, crap. Here it is. Pachiru slowly raises a finger to point far down the path. On the side of the asphalt roadway, there's a small black lump, like a spot of spilled ink. Oh, God. Maybe, maybe he's just he's just resting, you know, just chilling. I can't say from this distance. I'll take a look, so stay the here. Understand, don't you move an inch. No, 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 no. I'll f oh, no. The black lump's lying about 100 meters ahead. It must have tumbled along the road for its decent distance after the impact. Oof. There's a visible bloody trail leading to the small body. Oh, god damn it. You know, why did I, why do I say words? I should just shut the fuck up and maybe the story will just go on its own. <laughs> this is awful. Still breathing, but it's a matter of time. Oh, he's still good. We can save him. The black object before my eyes is without a doubt an unfortunate feline that was hit by a car. But I can't determine whether it's Machiru's pet or simply a stray that bears a strong resemblance to it. No, if I take the time to observe it calmly, I should be able to tell. But for now, I put that off. No, 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 don't look, don't, Machiru. I told you to wait, goddammit. Why don't you listen? Ign ignoring my words completely, the girl approaches on trembling legs. <laughs> Machiru 
charioteer's expression instantly crumbles with despair. Her eyes are already full of tears. I briefly hesitate, uncertain how to explain the reality before us. No. Oh. The cat responds to Machiru's call with a feeble croak. It's unmistakably that familiar meow. <laughs> He'll be fine. We could just take him to the vet or something. He's okay. He's gonna be fine. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help anything. I'll take a look. I examine the cat where it lies limply on the road. There's bleeding from the mouth and ears, but the external wounds don't appear that severe. Okay. When I feel gently around the stomach area, I can feel the broken bones and ruptured viscera on the other side. Ooh. The animal suffered serious internal damage from the impact. <sighs> okay, maybe... Okay, we can still save him, but chances are very small, I think. It's almost like squeezing a rubber bag packed full of ice cubes. I have an unpleasant feeling that his organs aren't what the, where they used to be. Small bright red pools of blood have formed the edge of the cat's eyes. When I pet its head, the animal blinks, sending them flowing down his face like tears. Oh, God. Why are they describing this? He'd been avoiding me all this time, but this wasn't exactly how I pictured our reconciliation. <laughs> Animal pain and death and all that stuff affects me really hard, so... He won't make it if we leave him like this. We need to get him to a vet, and fast! Hey, he's holding on right now. He's a strong cat. Tell me if you see a car approaching, all right? I'll stop them. Hey, watch it! You trying to get yourself killed? Ooh, as Matiro dashes out into the middle of the road, the driver screeches to a halt, then rolls down his window to shout angrily. I come running after and put both hands on the hood of the taxi. I'm sorry about my friend, but hear us out. This is an emergency. Can you get us to the vet quickly? We don't have time to argue, all right? In response to my forceful bluster, the apparently soft-hearted driver nods quietly. Dude, you, you can't turn that down, right? That'd be fucked up. When I turn back, Machiro's already carrying the limp black cat in her arms. Its limbs lie bent in strange directions. From a distance, it almost looks like she's cradling a small bundle of withered branches. Stop describing it! Get in, Machiru, and keep calm. If we get him to the vet fast enough, he'll be fine. I don't know. Let's focus on getting him to the vet. That's the most we can do for... Uh, meow. Right now. We got this. He'll be fine. Just... Well, at least we found Oh, no! No! Why did they do... Why did they do a CG for this? Why? I don't want to see it. Inside Machiro's arms, Meowmul dra draws ragged, shallow breaths. Trembling slightly. <laughs> this isn't your fault. It was an accident. Apologizing isn't going to change anything. Large teardrops tumble down Machiru's cheeks and fall onto Miyamo's face. The cat, lying there like a tattered old carpet, is slowly covered in a it's a mixture of tears and blood. Um, if my internal organs were rearranged, I don't think I'd want to be eating anything. Machira seizes the bag of treats from my hands, then breaks one up and places a tiny piece on the tip of her index finger. 
好きだったでしょう。食べてねお願いだから食べてまあ、ミャオモ tentatively sticks out its tongue and licks Machir's finger, finger several times. The fragment of biscuit on her finger quickly grows sticky and red with its, his blood. Oh. Yeah, he'll be fine. Like I said, we just gotta get him there quickly. Distorting the truth would be easy enough, but what's the point? My lies can't dull her pain, much less save the cat. I offer them both a sincere answer. Hug him, Machiru. That's the only thing you can do right now. That's not a good sign, Machiru. Uh, Yamal begins to cough le- weakly, trying to spit out the saliva and blood pooling in its tiny mouth, but the light's gradually fading from his eyes. As Machiru strokes the cat, hair falls out in bloody clumps and sticks to the seat of the car. The driver glances tentatively back at us through the rear view mirror. Don't worry, I'll pay your cleaning bill. I reach out and gently rest a hand on Miamal's body. His convulsions don't seem to be getting any better. There's no longer any room for wishful thinking. It won't be long now. Damn it! <laughs> this is gonna mess her up something fierce. Oh. Oh no. Oh. With one final soft purr, Miyamo extends his foreleg straight out as if to pester its mother for milk. And just like that, he quietly breathes his last. <coughs> Machiru must have felt the very instant that tiny life disappeared inside her arms. <sighs> Trembling violently, she looks at, over at me with pleading eyes. I shake my head slowly, but not, not, she nonetheless presses her lips against the cat's bloodstained mouth and tries artificial respiration. It doesn't go well. In the end, she hangs her head and breaks into hysterical sobs. <laughs> Some people would say it's only a cat, or maybe how much can a relationship that only lasted a few weeks really mean? But there's no denying the fact that this cat was an irreplaceable friend to Machiru. A beloved companion was just taken from her in the most meaningless, arbitrary way possible, right before her eyes, and my tears have already started falling. There's not even anyone to blame. No story to explain it. To enable acceptance. Death abruptly wandered by and snatched him away for no reason at all. <laughs> Sorry, but please change the destination to Mahama Academy. We don't have a reason to visit the veterinarian anymore. When I inform the driver of the situation, Michiru objects in a choked voice. <laughs> That's not possible anymore. You know it isn't. Accept reality. I understand that you don't want to believe it, but there's nothing else we can do. What use is there in talking about that? You're you, and she has nothing to do with this. Uh, <laughs> We're getting out. Let me have the cat. 
I'll take care of it. I know. Look, just get out of the car, all right? This isn't the time to throw a tantrum. I've seen so much shit in the past. Uh. There it is. <laughs> I grab Machiro by the wrist and forcibly yank her along. Uh, shut up! I am then embrace her forcefully. I hug Machiro's slender body against mine so strongly that it feels like I might break her. This is painful for me, too. At those words, Machiru buries her face against my chest and begins sobbing convulsively. Miyamo dying is a sad, terrible thing for both of us. But you need to stop drawing connections that just aren't there. The cat's death had nothing to do with anything else. And you sure as hell weren't at fault. This was an accident. <laughs> I've been through something very similar myself. I know how it feels, alright? But there's no point in just breaking down. Do what you have to first. If you're going to cry, then do it afterward. <laughs> then think. Don't run away. I attempt to pay the cabbie, but he drives off without accepting a dime. Aww. Probably wanted to bid the quickest possible farewell to his eerie clients and then their blood-stained cat corpse. Chiru hugs the cat's body tightly, showing no intention of letting go anytime soon. She seems to have accepted the reality of its death, but clearly has no idea how to cope with it. That's not a stuffed animal in your arms. You can't hold on to it forever. Let me take the cat. I won't treat him badly. Hmm. After a long internal debate, Machiru finally hands me the cat. Thanks to the summer heat, fluid has already begun to ooze out of its anus. Oh god, why? Why would you do this? The girl's clothes are soiled. Even so, she pets its his head numerous times, clearly reluctant to part. I decide it's probably best to let her be for alone for a while. After respectively dealing with the cat's body, I return to my room and take a shower. The cat died. From an objective point of view, a stray cat was hit by a car. Nothing more, nothing less. In the animal shelters, abandoned cat pets and feral strays are disposed of in tens of thousands every year. To the world at large, the death of the cat is essentially meaningless. But a precious fragment of Machiru's world was stolen away before her very eyes. From that perspective, we're clearly facing a gravely serious situation. Yeah, like I said, she's gonna be fucked up from this now. I'm fucked up from this now. <laughs> Again, I can't handle animal death real well. <laughs> I mean, I was crying. Uh, oh. you guys, you guys told me something was coming. I didn't know what was coming. When you guys said it was be like a few parts after the last one, but this happened, and you know, uh, my my feeling is, God damn it, I should just not say theories, man. I should just, I need to just shut up sometimes. Not like the story's just gonna change, but it's just sometimes I'll just say something, 
and I'll think it's going to happen or I'll believe it's going to happen. But deep down, I'm just like, I hope that doesn't happen because I don't want that to happen because I always just assume the worst some uh, in stories, at least not in like real life. But I don't know. It's just now I'm sad. I'm going to go going to, I don't know, play a play something to cheer myself up, you know. <laughs>